Hi there, welcome to Epic Men. My name is Jacob and this is Gary. Hi. And we're glad that you're here. We're looking at Proverbs today, specifically in chapter 29. Let's start in verse two. It says, when the godly are in authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked are in power, they groan. So we're talking about politics here a little bit. Exactly, isn't that <laughs> great? Leadership, you know, leadership we're, politics, yeah. And you're gonna give it to me, huh? Yeah. Thanks, uh, I appreciate just pass that. pass <laughs> that over to you. Have fun but with that. But you know, <laughs> it's, it's so important about what we do, you know, in the setting of when we're doing actually this recording today, you know, we've just finished with some elections and so That's forth right. that we've had. Yeah. And all, but and sometimes we can have one of two responses. Either we can be very gun ho, say, "Yeah, I'm gonna get involved. I'm gonna do," and all those kinds. Or we can be very passive, yeah, and kind of true. feel like, "Hey, what does it matter? It doesn't, you know, pertain to anything." And all. Here's the simple point of all of this, according to the scriptures here, that when the people that are godly are in authority, notice in that word that isn't defining a political party. Good. Okay? That's yeah. We're not talking yeah, yeah. we're not dealing with that at all. That's not yeah. what the scripture's talking about. Yeah. When the people that are godly are in authority, people that are willing to turn to God, look to God, consult God, invite God to guide and direct the decisions that yeah. they would make. Good. When they're in authority, then the people rejoice. Good. Obviously right. the contrary is also true. When people that are ungodly unwilling to turn to God, unwilling to consult with God, then there's also going to be, as the word uses here, a groaning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, bummer. Yeah, yeah. Bummer. But in all of that, let me say this, that whether we have people that are godly in political power or we have people that are not, and uh, by the way, be careful of our judgments about that kind of a thing, That's okay? True. We don't always know people in their hearts, yeah, okay, yeah. and everything. But the second, the main thing there, in either case, the priority that we have is to pray. Good, that's so good, yeah. We pray for right. people that are godly, that are seeking God, but we also pray for those that may not be. That's great. Because yeah, yeah. that's the way we turn to things. Yeah, that's so good. I just have a simple ob observation to add. I good. love how it says, when the godly are in authority, which means it's presupposed that the godly are supposed to be in authority. Yeah. And so I feel like I wanna, maybe commend people that are, are, maybe you're getting a promotion at work or maybe it's it's you're getting a, an opportunity. Don't shy away from that right. opportunity of leadership yeah. because God wants to promote you and he actually wants the people to rejoice because right. you're godly and in that place of authority. I, I think of Daniel and Daniel was an amazing man of God and he um, thank God for him and where he was placed in mm -hmm. that time period. We can go on and on about him, but the point is, take up that, that position that God has for you. Right, and let me encourage you, we've said this before, but that is that if you've ever had an inkling or a thought about the fact of pursuing some form of political uh, party, committee, those, some things, there's uh, uh, plenty of opportunities in your local community yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. just to be able to plug in, That's to right. different area, check them out yeah. and see what might be a, a helpful thing for you to do. Yeah. So let's yeah. pray. Yeah. Jesus, we need your guidance in this. Uh, we admit that, Lord, we want to do what's right, but God, we also need to know what's right. Mm -hmm. So would you direct our steps? Lead us, Lord, in being able to select and choose those that would rule over us where we have that privilege and opportunity. May we take it seriously, prayerfully, and then even after those that are placed in office, that, Lord, may we continue to pray, yeah, that's not right. criticize, but pray because it is the power of prayer that will make the difference in all of it. We pray all of this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. And thanks again for being a part of this time. Hey, maybe you'd like to hit like or yeah. subscribe or idea. pass it on to somebody. We'd appreciate that. Have a great day.